morning vlog. I'm so tired this morning. Today is the long run, which last, last wrong, I can't even speak this morning. <laughs> So tired. Our last long run was five miles, which like I've run five miles before, but like that's probably my max recently. My max ever is eight miles, okay? But today is six miles. So I'm not nervous, but I am like so tired in my knee. It's hurting me a bit. I'm gonna have to like warm up really good. Mm. I have to do this one early. So me and Maddie are doing it by ourselves. Really our long runs are supposed to be on Saturday and Fridays are like, uh, like this week we have three miles on a Friday. Um, but I did the three miles yesterday instead because we're going wedding dress shopping on Saturday. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be a busy day. I don't think I'm gonna have time to run. So anyways, come along with me on my long run. Starting with some pre-workout. This is pre-powder, natural pre-workout. No artificial-ish. Mm. I'm so tired. Okay, let's go. We're here. I'm not ready. <laughs> Whatever. Just walk in. Ugh. This is only week two and we have eight weeks. No, I'm being positive. Let's freaking go. Thank you. I'll take the water first. Thank you. Um, you might want to drink it before it gets cold. Okay. Oh, brother. Okay, everyone, how was your run? Boys, how was the run? Bad. I ate chilies last night. Tim almost. It was chilies, and my ankle, uh, the chilies did something to my feet. Not oh, my ankles, my yeah. feet. The balls of my feet. I think it was the chilies. Okay. I was never going to chilies again. I was carbo loaded. I wanted to get pasta camera. last night. Everyone overrode me with the chilies. I Should got pasta. Oh, oh that's button. Cajun chili pasta. How do you feel, Miss Lady? Oh, oh, twinkle toes. Oh, oh. <laughs> I feel good. Hi, <laughs> hi. So hard. My pace is actually pretty good. I ended up doing, I think it was 941 pace. I'll put my stats right here, but my legs like immediately hurt. I really need to norm attack or like do something. I actually think I'm gonna look online and, cry and try and get a cryotherapy like thing on Groupon. Cryotherapy is essentially just like, honestly, I don't know what it is, but it's like getting this machine and they like drop the temperature super, super low and you're only in it for like a very small amount of time, but it's supposed to help with recovery and my joints hurt so bad. I'm gonna look into that and see if I can do that today. Otherwise, good morning y'all. Taking you through a day of my life on a long run, this half marathon journey that I'm on. It's going pretty well so far, but this is, we just ended week two. So this was my last run of week two. Um, next week, I'm actually going on vacation. So that'll be very interesting on how I do the run because I did my did my run yesterday on the treadmill and that was honestly the most miserable thing I've <laughs> ever done. Sorry. Open the blinds, let in the sunlight, baby. So I do not want to do it on the treadmill, but also I'm gonna be in Mexico, so I need to be like just weary of my surroundings. So I might be doing it on a treadmill, who knows? All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm heading to West Elm for a second because I get these very specific candles. They're called the Ambergris, Ambergris, I don't know how to say it, but they're the most amazing candles I've ever smelled in my entire life. Okay, last time I came here, they were really hard to find. I need these candles, okay? I need them, so wish me luck. Let's go find the Ambergris. Oh my God, they don't open until 10. It's 9.34, oh my God, I'm so sad. Okay, well. Well, that was a big fat bummer. They're not even open, and I don't think I had time to wait because I have the cryo appointment at 10.30 and it's kind of a little ways away, but I gotta show you what I just bought. Okay, I'm doing all this. I'm like getting more home decor because we just redid the kitchen, which I will do. I'm doing like a whole kitchen reno vlog. I'm just waiting on my sink and my faucet to be put in, but 
the shipment is delayed so that's why I haven't like completely revealed the kitchen even though you've definitely seen it like in the background of vlogs and stuff it looks so freaking good I'm so happy with it we have so much more storage it's incredible so I'm like doing a little bit of like home decor shopping or like little little trinkets for the kitchen did I need these probably not are they so phenomenally great yes a little container from CB2 it's like for homemade salad dressings you can put it and then it has a little spout right there I was like I'm getting you yep you're mine and then this is like a little glass carton and they said it's like for creamer so I'm like that's cute and that was only $12, so I was like, add to cart. Um, I have an appointment at 10.30 for the cryo. I've never done it before, so I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Wow, that was so weird. Like such an interesting feeling. It was not like an ice bath, but kind of like an ice bath at the same time. You were like freezing. Like when you go outside in the snow, like that's what it felt like. But you just had to like stand there in your bikini basically. It was cool. I might do that again. Oh, sorry. I wish y'all could have felt the fear that just surged through my body when the camera fell. That was pretty good. That was pretty good catch, though. Quick little Trader Joe's haul. We got these Dunkers oatmeal cranberry cookies. We tried these before, and they're so good. We've also tried these. Highly freaking recommend. They have like a subtle pumpkin taste and they're so good. These are just like a go-to, like any type of dip, these chips. And I got pumpkin tortilla chips and they're covered in cinnamon. So I'm thinking of making like a cream cheese dip to go along with those. I think that'll be really good. These are the best things known to man. They're chocolate coconut almonds. Like just trust me, even if you don't like coconut, try these. Oh, and then I got Cowboy caviar, this corn and chili tomato salsa. It is so good. It's like a little bit sweet. So good. Okay, unfortunately, we still do not have our stove top yet. Just been making my breakfast in the microwave and I make eggs in the microwave, so. I feel like this is a good, maybe like a, if you're in college and you live in a dorm, you can make a meal like this. aesthetically pleasing meal no but it's all that I can do right now and she gets the job done I'm gonna make like kind of like a little I'm just gonna put them on the tip whatever anyways okay we just got home from the crate and barrel outlet if you've never been to the crate and barrel outlet 
I bought something. But if you've never been to the Crate and Barrel outlet, it's so good. Th things are like 50, 60, 70% off of normal prices. And you know Crate and Barrel is like expensive. But we just went and I found like this sideboard. So I got this credenza off of, let me show you up close. It's so pretty, it's herringbone. I love it so much, but it is broken a bit and I bought it and it was broken. But I got it off of Etsy. But it's just like too small and we need something that's gonna go like all of this space because I wanna get big photos blown up with Bronson and I. I think they'll look really cool black and white here. And we went to Crate and Barrel and I found this one and it is so beautiful. It's like white and wood and a little bit of gold accents, it's beautiful. And it was 50% off because it had like a minor little scratch, you couldn't even see it. And I was like, I love this. So I went up to the lady at the front and I was like, hey, how do I how do I buy this? Like, how does this work? She was like, oh, you gotta go up and like grab the tag on it. When I go back there, this girl is standing over it and has her hand just like held over it and she's like talking on the phone. And her hand is like over the tag and she's like, I really like this one, it's like, and she's like about to rip it off. I'm like, oh my God, stop. And the lady was like, you can just rip it off like in front of her, like just rip it. Just if you want it, just take it from her. And I'm like, I'm not taking it from her. Like, that's so awkward. I'm not just gonna be like, why? Then she walked away for like two seconds and I did do that and I kind of feel bad. But also she, I, she was like, I was trying to listen to her conversation. She was like, well, maybe I can find something else. And I was like, I don't think you want it. But then when we were leaving, she was lingering around it. And I was like, oh my God, too bad. We already bought it. It's coming home and they're delivering it in like an hour and a half. And I'm so excited. Look at her. She's so pretty. Oh, oh. Looks so good here. We turn the table too, because we think it looks better like this. I don't know. Tell us if you think it looks better like this or turn like this. I personally think like this. It's all coming together. And then I'm gonna put two very large pictures. Hopefully covering those holes, but they probably won't. Anyways, looking good. Look who's here. Again. <laughs> Norma checking her little legs off. Oh my God, eating her Poke Bowl. This is, the is most, this? this is the most manny thing I've ever seen. Can you tell me what this is? Oh, I think that is ginger. It's spicy. Don't eat, don't eat it. The root beer one literally tastes like root beer. Yeah, the root beer one is good. It's so you good. are so cute, I would literally die for you. Oh. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I'm sorry, I'm so bad about ending off vlogs. I'm just so bad about it. Um, I was gonna end off this vlog here because we're about to go try on my wedding dress. I need to do a whole wedding planning vlog because there's just been so much going on. But I think I found my wedding dress. I'm like 99% sure and I might place the order today. I'm just a very indecisive person. So like, I, I think I need to try it on like multiple times. I also am not gonna have like the crying moment because I just, and very indecisive. I just don't think that's gonna be me. But I was like so happy when I put it on and I didn't wanna take it off, so I feel like that's a good sign. But I wanted to say one last thing about running. A lot of you guys are like, how do you start running? How do you get yourself to run that far? And granted, the longest I've gone so far is six miles, so I'm not like an expert by any means. Just the thing that I'm learning is it's all about mindset. What I tell myself literally is I'm like, just keep your feet moving. Just keep picking up your feet. Keep going. I don't care how slow it is. I don't care if I'm running like a 15 minute mile. Like just keep going. Also, if you can get a group of friends to go with you because that's a huge part of just accountability and like having people like show up when you guys set a time. That means like you have to be there. Like your friends are there, you have to be there. So yeah, those are probably my two biggest tips, but please let me know in the comments what else you wanna see. Um, I'm gonna keep documenting my half marathon training and um, this is the end of week two. So I'm excited. Next week gets a little more intense. So I love y'all and I'll see you in the next video.